Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have a hands-on look of the Enoch 27-inch monitor that was sent to me like a month ago so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. This is actually a 4K monitor. I did the unboxing. Of course, I'm not going to do it here live on video because it would take forever. But yes, the unboxing is very easily you know, done. You, there's a lot of uh, cables included with this monitor as well, like HDMI, USB cable, USB-C cables. Um, it's very easy to mount as well. The base is very cool because it's very, very flexible. So there's a different angles you can actually adjust up and down and sideways. Um, it also, the monitor actually has gravity sensor, which lets you rotate the camera in portrait mode. And you can use it like that like if you're one of those that actually like to use it like that. I don't, but there's a lot of people that are have multiple monitors and like to use like a portrait screen monitor. So yes, you can actually do it with this screen and it's very easily rotates. And since it has the gravity sensor, it will automatically, you know, rotate the 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 picture of the of the monitor and you know adjust to the portrait mode. That's something really cool that the monitor has, but you know. If you're not using it, it's not for you. It has Visa mount in the back as well, compatible with 75 by 75. Of course, it has a whole bunch of HD, uh, uh, inputs in the bottom, like uh, two HDMI 2.0, USB-C, which also are gonna give you 65 watts of power just in case you connect your laptop or any other device. It can actually charge you while transmitting um, um, you know, image to the screen. It has two USB 3.0, uh, which uh, you can use it like to connect your uh, USB like mouse or keyboards. It's very cool for that. Has 3-point jack uh, millimeter jack, uh, you know, for headphones. It also has one display port, which is 1.4. Now the HDMI is like you see, it's not, it's only 2.0, not 2.1. So gaming on this monitor, it's okay. I did try it, of course, like you're gonna see here on the video, I did try it on the Xbox, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch. Um, and gaming is, you know, is good. You know, you can game on this monitor, it's 4K. Um, but one thing that I didn't like about the monitor is that um, it doesn't have a gaming mode. You know, a lot of monitors that I've done video before always have like uh, different pictures like movie, theater, like movie, um, reading and standard. But this monitor doesn't have the gaming mode, which kind of sucks because it would have been nice. You know, 4K, 27 inch would have been nice. Also, it is HDR 400 with 400 a brightness of nits you know it's a 16 by 9 monitor so you know that's cool for watching movies and all that and playing video games it's gonna look pretty good there of course like i said it's 4k um it's 100 percent srgb so you know doing work here is actually pretty good and in my opinion a little bit better than video gaming on it so when it comes to speakers it has two speakers five watts each um but they're they don't sound that uh, nice and crisp so obviously if you, I recommend to actually use headphones or actually add speakers to the monitor that way you know you can enjoy a better audio but yes out of the box at least it has speakers there's a lot of monitors out there that doesn't have speakers The stand is very flexible, easily um, adjustable. The height, the size is very easily adjustable. You can do it with one finger um, and it rotates. When you rotate it, it will automatically switch to portrait mode. Now, when it comes to settings, it has buttons over here in the bottom. Like you see right here, it has the buttons over here in the bottom. Um, you press one of the buttons and you're gonna see all the functions you could do like um, home, brightness volume uh, let's go and zoom in here for a second there okay so right here we zoomed in so when you launch the settings uh, that's how it's going to look right and you go ahead and navigate with these buttons right here 
You got picture and picture as well. You got OSD settings. That's for this right here. So you can position that wherever you want. You got other settings that it, you can adjust the mute, auto power, enthusiast, um, I shoot. You got the gravity sensor. You can turn it off or on if you don't like it. And of course, you got professional, which is the picture modes you could switch to, picture settings. Uh, in picture mode, like I said, there is no, like, um, there's no gaming mode. So you got standard mode, you got sRGB mode, Adobe mode, and uniformity, uniformity mode, gamma. Um, you got some shadows, hue, saturation. Uh, dynamic brightness is one thing that I had to mess a lot because I wanted to get a good picture when playing video games. So this is an option here that I actually had to mess a lot in. So I could get the better picture. So I had to put it in elaboration, dynamic brightness elaboration. That way I could get a better picture. Uh, but other than that, you know, there's not too much there to see when it comes to the uh, modern settings. I just wanted to share this video with you guys and leave a link in my descriptions just in case you're interested in it. Uh, you can go ahead and read a little bit more about the monitor. And of course, just like always, if you don't like it, you could just return it. Amazon always has good services. Uh, that can benefit you if you don't like a device that you buy on the sir on the website my final thoughts about the monitor of course since it's not a, a gaming monitor um it, yes it does have free sync but it only goes all the way up to 60 hertz the monitor um it would have been great if it you know it was a gaming monitor you know with 120 hertz it would have been great 4k 1080p or whatever but no, I found myself when I was playing video games, I found myself messing a lot with the settings so I can get the best picture possible. And that's something that I don't like to do too much when I'm playing video games. I just want to launch it and, and play. But yeah, I had to uh, mess a lot with the HDR, the, the dynamic brightness so I could get the better, the best picture as possible. For me, this monitor is more, it's more better for um editing and doing work on the monitor and you know watch videos here and there and play video games as well you can play video games on any monitor you know but of course don't expect to get the you know nice fluid 120 hertz or 144 hertz here and don't expect to see it like a gaming mode or like uh, rts and fps modes for this monitor like i've seen it on other monitors as well but Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this monitor. Like I said, I'll leave links in my descriptions. Just in case you're interested, you can go ahead and read a little bit more right there. Thanks for watching. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.